Hey, I'm Aaron, and thanks for joining me back here at Keep Painting Minis. Today we're going to paint Jesslyn Derrick, the witch hunter from the Cursed City collection. So meet me right back here and let's get started. We begin by priming our mini with Steinal Res White with just a drop of the beige to give it a little bit of an off-white. We want the bright primer because we're going to be using some contrast paints for our base coats. Next is Citadel's Skeleton Horde contrast paint for the inside of his leather jacket. Apply the paint fairly generously, guiding it into the recesses and wicking away any excessive pooling. And here you can see a single coat of Skeleton Horde Contrast did a good job of creating some highlights and shadows in the recesses. Next we'll get after the outside of his leather coat with an initial layer of Vallejo's answer to contrast paints and that is their Express Paint line. Here we have the Vallejo Express Wasteland Brown. My experience with the Vallejo Express colors so far compared to the Citadel Contrast is that they don't leave splotches as much on the flat surfaces, but at the same time they don't create quite as much contrast in the recesses. So the jury is sort of still out as to which I prefer. I think I'll enjoy using both of them. So here's a look at our mini with that first layer of Wasteland Brown Express applied and we're going to move the color of that coat now more toward black with the next couple of steps. Next I'm coming in with a one to one mix of Black Templar Contrast and Contrast Medium because I want the coat to be more of a black with a hint of brown. But you'll see after this step that the coat is still more brown than black and so I'll come in with the next couple of steps to move it even more toward black. So to move the coat color more toward black, I broke out the old style of Nuln Oil. The old style is different from the newer style in that it does tend to stain the surfaces more besides finding the recesses. So that should move the color of the coat more toward black. But I still felt that the coat was too brown and so I came in with a glaze. Lately I've been using this acrylic medium by Atelier, Atelier <laughs> which is a uh, acrylic medium that's used more by canvas paint painters and you can see on the palette there that it's pretty viscous it's pretty thick but I actually find that that allows me to make an easier to use sort of less drippy less runny glaze and get the glaze as thin as possible and so that's what I've been using for my glaze and I mixed in here the Pro Acryl Coal Black about three parts glaze medium to one part coal black and now I'm finally happy with the color of the brownish black leather of Jelson's coat. Now I'm coming in with a mix of the Citadel XV88 and the Pro Crow Warm Brown and some medium to glaze in some darker shadows on the inside of the leather jacket because after looking at it again I felt it needed a little more contrast, a little more dark in the darker shadows. Next I'm coming in with Vallejo's Express Color Mystic Blue to undercoat the black leather so that when I go over these parts with Black Templar contrast later we'll still have a hint of cold blue to contrast with the warm black brown wet leather of his hat and his coat. So you'll see his black leather is his boots and his gloves. 
And next we come in with a one-to-one -one mix of the Black Templar and Contrast Medium for those leather bits. And I found that that one-to-one -one mix was a little too translucent, so I did come in with a second coat of the same for the black leather boots and gloves. And here we have a quick fashion spin to have a look at our progress so far. And you can see a hint of blue under the black leather that adds some nice visual interest. Now we're coming in with snake bite leather citadel contrast for his satchel on his back. I'm always super happy with this contrast color snake bite leather for leather pouches and packs. It's really a one coat and done. One of my very favorite contrast paints. There's a satchel on his front hip that also gets the snake bite leather. And now I'm breaking out the long pointy specialty brush for those hard to reach places. And I'm going in with this Reaper Dragon Black for those few strands of hair that are poking out from underneath his hat. Next is my favorite flesh color, which is Citadel's Gilliman Flesh. And I'll give his face two coats of the Gilman Flesh, allowing that first coat to dry fully before going with the second coat. What you see here is the first coat, and as you can see, it seems a little faint to me, which is why I went in with the second coat. Next, we're going in with Skeleton Horde Contrast for his vampire killing stakes. And I always find that the Skeleton Horde over sort of an off-white undercoat makes for a perfect ash wood look, which I thought was great for these stakes. Next, we're coming in with Pro Acryl's Warm Brown for all of the leather the leather holsters for his stakes, his straps and belts, and in this case I'm coming in with two thin coats to get a great solid opaque coverage. With that done, we're coming in with Pro Krill's Burnt Red for his scabbard and also the wood portions of his rifle. And don't forget he has a small dagger scabbard on the front of his belt. And here we have another fashion twirl with our progress so far. Now for our silver metallics, we are going in with a one-to-one -one mix of Vallejo's Metal Color Steel and Dark Aluminum. I just wanted a brightness that was sort of in between those two. So for silver, we have his leg braces, his hammer, the most of the metal on his rifle, his sword handle, his buckles, the decorations on his belt, and don't forget that metal embellishment on the front of his witcher's hat. And one more fashion twirl so that we can see how that silver turned out.
Next, we're coming in with Vallejo's metal color copper for the metal guard on the butt of his rifle. Next is Vallejo's metal color aluminum, which is super bright and shiny. And that is for the silver ingot on his belt. I think that's what this little feature was uh, because he's fighting vampires and he needs to have some silver at the ready. And now we shade down his armor. That is his uh, shoulder pauldrons and his leg braces with a mix back and forth of Agrax Earthshade and Mortarian Grime. And you'll see how I just sort of bop back and forth between those two shade colors and sort of splash it on and push it into the recesses. And I love this combination of these two shades because you get sort of a greenish brown and it's the color has some real character compared to just one or the other. And now for some more of the old style Null Oil, and that's the one that does stain the surfaces a little more for his hammer and the metal on his rifle because that's the look I wanted for those portions. And then I'll come in with a new style Null Oil for some of the other silver bits as you'll see in a future step. And now for the new recipe, Nuln Oil, which does a better job of leaving the surfaces alone and just finding the recesses for the remaining silver parts that haven't been shaded yet. Now coming in with Agrax Earthshade, this happens to be the old recipe as well, for the brown leather portions that we base coated earlier with the Pro Acryl Warm Brown. And also coming in with the Agrax Earthshade for the bits that we base coated with burnt red, which is the wood portions on his rifle and his sword scabbard and dagger scabbard. And now we're on to highlights, beginning with Pro Krill's Bright Ivory for the top of the folds on the inside of his leather coat. And next is a highlight of Citadel's XV88 for the raised portions and top of the folds on his leather jacket. And to blend in the XV88 highlights a little better, I came in with some warm brown and sort of snuck that in next to the XV88 highlights to create a smoother transition up to the highest highlight. And then I came in for a final highlight on the leather coat with the Pro Acryl Golden Brown for the sharp edge at the bottom of his coat and some of the sharp edges on the front of his leather coat. For example, that little corner and the corner above it. And I'm also using the Pro Krill Golden Brown for the edge highlight and the fold highlights on the satchels that I base coated with the snake bite leather contrast.
Next is a highlight on the scabbard and the rifle stock with Procryl's burnt orange. And then another brighter highlight with Procryl's pure orange on just sort of a select, more limited portion of the sword scabbard and the rifle stock. And the first highlight on the black leather is Reaper's Winter Blue for the gloves and the boots. Catching sharp edges where I can with the side of my brush and then carefully catching the tops of folds with the sharp tip of my brush. And then one more brighter highlight for the black leather with Citadel's Russ Gray. Trying for thinner lines and covering a little bit less than the first highlight color, the winter blue. And now coming in with Pro Acryl's Silver for highlighting the silver portions. Pro Acryl's Silver is uh, super bright and so this makes for a great highlight over silver that has been shaded down with Nuln Oil. Coming in now with a little bit of a glaze of burnt red and my acrylic medium to highlight the leather strap on his witcher's hat. And now one of my favorite parts of finishing off a miniature is the Procryl Bright Ivory to dot the top of the rivets. So the trick to great rivets is to be sure your shade has settled around the edges of the rivet and then you put the dollop of Bright Ivory on the tip of your brush and just touch it so daintily to the top of the rivet and the Bright Ivory reads wonderfully as silver or gold. And with that last detail our Jeslin Derrick is complete. So let's have one final fashion twirl, please. Stage hand the red velvet curtain and reveal. As always, we can't thank you enough for having tuned in. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. We'll be uploading new painting tutorials about every two weeks, so I know we'll see you back here real soon. And until then, you know what I'm about to say. Keep painting minis.